you get a real sense of not just the valley from up here on Neilston Pad, a mere five miles or so from the city centre. Twenty minutes on a train and another half hour on the bicycle. Ten minutes on foot. But you also get a real sense, especially in winter because of the low raking light and the shadows, of the cragginess, of the lumpy bumpiness of the land here. Not so much rolling hills as sort of um, crag and tail, you know, the old glaciers coming down and, and leaving piles of morass and moraine behind them. So you have these long elongated shapes with abrupt edges, like the one in the centre here, which is the Holy Mount of Duncarnock. And that was an age-old iron fort and probably a homestead of sorts before that for a long time, simply because of its uh, position over the valley and its, uh, its impregnable uh, north face, or south face rather, which you can see in the, the shade there. And there are numerous fortlets, old fortlet hills like this, whether it was used by the Picts or the Iron Age, Stone Age settlements or, or the Romans later on. The Romans tended with uh, Antonine uh, to base their forts on the north of the river, north side of Glasgow, just to the south of the Campsie Fells there uh, on the horizon. Yep, that was uh, hmm. Well, Raymond the Raven concurs and says that uh, the Ravens and the Crow family also like these hills and craggy fortlets simply for the vast drafts of space that they offer and the views and what and the peacefulness yeah the peace the vegetable serenity i think is what he said yep i think there's a little a little bird just perched on top of the conifer there. And it goes. Looks like a long tailed tit. Aranyushek in Polish, the bird of the morning. And what a morning it is.